वंस अगेन इट्स निकॉन वर्सेस निकॉन एंड टुडे वी आर गोना कंपेयर निकॉन कूल पिक्स बी सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड निकॉन कूल पिक्स ए नाइन हंड्रेड पोर्ट्स आर अमेजिंग पॉइंट एंड शूट ब्रिज कैमराज बाय निकॉन सुपर पॉपुलर बट विच वन इज बेटर फॉर फोटोग्राफी लेट्स फाइंड आउट Let's start the Nikon war, and in today's battle, we are going to compare Nikon Coolpix V600 and Nikon Coolpix A900. I must admit, I'm a big fan of the A900. It is a point and shoot I always wanted. Start the score meter, and we will be recording the score of both the cameras as we list its the specs of the cameras. And the one with the highest score will obviously win. So let's get started. Both cameras have the same sensor size, 1 by 2.3 inch sized uh, BSI CMOS sensor. B600 gives me 16 megapixel image resolution, and E900 gives me 20 megapixels. So obviously, this is a better point because it gives me more image resolution. The B600 costs me around twenty thousand eight ninety rupees, and the A900 costs me around twenty thousand nine hundred ninety rupees. So since they are both in the same price range, we'll give one point to both. The B600 gives me sixty x optical zoom, and A900 gives me thirty five x optical zoom. So we'll give a point to the B600 because it gives me more flexible focal coverage. The B600 can record in full HD, that is uh, 1920 by 1080 at 30 and 60 fps. But the A900 can record in 4K, that is 3840 by 2160 pixels. The A900 has a tilting screen. Its screen can swivel and tilt all the way around, so it's very useful for vlogging and taking selfies. But the screen of the B600 is fixed; it does not move at all. A900 is lighter of the two cameras. It weighs a uh, 289 grams. As opposed to 500 grams by the B600, so it may be more useful for long walking tours as it is 211 grams lighter. The A900 has a super cool time lapse recording mode that can allow me to record time lapse videos very easily in camera. This mode is absent in the B600. With a single charge, the B600 can give me 280 shots, and the A900 can give me 300 shots. That's only 20 more shots. But the A900, every picture is precious. So we'll give one point to the A900. The A900 has Bluetooth and NFC connectivity, so it becomes very easy to connect my camera to my phone, laptop, etc. The A900 has a manual mode, which I think is the biggest advantage given it is a point and shoot camera. So I can control my shutter speed, aperture, and ISO the way I want it to be. In the B600, I can only control the ISO. Now I'm going to talk about some common features between these two cameras. Now, since these features are common, we won't be scoring them. But in case you want to buy any of these cameras, I think you need to know them. Both cameras have somewhat similar inbuilt flash, image stabilization, face detection, focus, Wi-Fi, and mobile connectivity, and LCD screen resolution of 921K dots. Both cameras don't have a viewfinder. You have to keep looking at the screen while clicking. Has no RAW support. I can only click my images in JPEG and not RAW. 
plus uh, no shoe for external flash, no headphone or microphone jacket, no touchscreen capabilities and no built-in GPS. So guys, as I predicted earlier, the A900 is the clear winner. It is a portage which I always want because it offers me 4K video recording capacity, Bluetooth, time-lapse recording mode, a tilting screen, more effective megapixels and a manual mode. Uh, the B600 gives me more optical zoom but I would go for the A900 out of these two cameras. If optical zoom is your priority, you may go for the B600. Here is a quick comparison between Nikon Coolpix B600 and Nikon Coolpix A900. So this was a detailed comparison between the Nikon Coolpix B600 and A900. And I hope my video cleared your doubts guys about which camera is better or where if it did. Give me a big thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below about uh, which camera comparisons you want to watch next on my channel. Share this video with your friends. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post new videos. Here is my previous camera comparison and here is a playlist that plays all my camera comparisons. Please go check these videos out guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos every Wednesday on my channel. Bye.